We have a voice and we're ready to speak out. Well, new tonight at six, raising the minimum wage at stake, the livelihood of thousands of people, workers they want to raise, but businesses say they can't afford it. And 13 Action News reporter Sasha Gomez joins us now. And worker Sasha could actually get a pretty hefty bump here. Trisha Todd, yes, in increments. Now, here's how it would play out. People with, with health benefits currently make $7.25 an hour. Now, that would go up by $0.75 cents every year until it hits $11 an hour. Now, workers without health benefits make $8.25 an hour. Now, their rates would also go up by $0.75 cents each year until they hit $12 an hour. Uh, the minimum wage has failed to keep up with inflation and failed to keep up with average wages. Brandon Martin wants to say in the minimum wage debate, his paycheck is at stake. Martin is a sole provider for his wife and four kids. He does it making $9 an hour. Uh, some days I wake up and I don't know how I'm going to make it through. Martin says he's tired of always having to just make it. As I go through my month, I try to stop by the local food pantry. It's right down the street from my from my apartments where I stay out in Henderson. Um, and I walk there and just go grab what I can and, and I make it work. He's hoping the people in power will listen. I know my day is coming, you know, and I'm just going to be patient and wait for that day to come. The last time that day came for workers in Nevada, it was 2011. Workers at the hearing say rent keeps going up in Las Vegas, so why aren't the wages? Jim Rees, co-owner of Hash House Agogo, -Go, says tip credit is part of the problem. That's when employers can pay workers below minimum wage as long as their tips bring them back to that level. Rees says Nevada is one of seven states that doesn't allow that. And that is what really creates a very big issue for any full-service restaurant uh, in, in Nevada. Some business owners have found a way to pay more than minimum. Mimo Ferraro says sometimes smaller is better. And nobody in my, a part of my pizza restaurants, Pizza Forte, makes minimum wage. Everybody is making, well, my, I start at $12 an hour, you know, but I don't have 75 employees. Ferraro says his second business is bigger and says giving across the board raises to servers and bartenders would eventually mean he'd have to raise prices on the menu. Yeah, now should this bill pass, the first increase in the minimum wage will go, go up January 2020. Sasha Gomez, 13 Action News, Elevating Las Vegas.